it's not the environment you'd expect powerful assault rifles like this one, as well as handguns. Omar Mateen's father spoke to me today. Raghi Omar from ITV News, what can you say about his purchase of the I'm firearms? Not aware. I, we spoke about it last night on TV. I'm not, I'm not aware. I said, you heard me that I said, if I didn't know, I would have called the law enforcement myself and I would have arrested him. Omar Mateen first came to the attention of the FBI in 2013. The two interviews they had with him were deemed to be inconclusive, and the Saudi authorities today revealed he visited the country in 2011 and 12. I asked his father if he noticed his son drifting towards extremism. I wasn't aware of it. You didn't see any telltale no, signs? He, he wasn't the way that the radical... Uh, I mean, it's not religion, because he wasn't growing beer, he wasn't getting very disrespect and neglecting his uh, wife and his kid. Uh, I didn't see none of those. His son's actions have been described as an act of hate as well as terror. Omar Mateen's father said he was devastated at the targeting of Orlando's gay community. This is a free country. Everybody has a choice to live and the way that he or she feels like right to live. And nobody has the right to do anything against nobody. And uh, I complain? take side with those people, they got that. killed, their family, and those people, they got injured. He had no right to do anything. Omar Mateen's father is now left to bring up his three-year-old grandson and ponder his son's horrific legacy. Ragi Omar, ITV News, Southeast Florida.